Hey everyone, welcome to another video in this particular playlist. And in this video, we'll be talking about Spark Structure Streaming Output Mode. And this is a very important concept for you to master. You should absolutely know like when to use different output mode. So let's get started. So I have the same query. So I have a item count. So I'm just calculating the group on that particular item and I'm just doing the count. So in every batch, you will get a item and a count, right? So now let's see like, uh, what are the different ways to achieve this right so there are different modes that is available like one of them is complete mode so what it does it it outputs the entire result table at every trigger including all rows whether updated or not right when to use it use it when you want to see the entire state of the aggregation at every trigger right so in every trigger if you want to get even if the previous stage aggregation you want to use complete mode so let me just stop this and i'm going to run this particular uh, query so that i'll show you the data so it will make more sense so i'll go to the cluster log to see how my data is coming so if you see that this is the batch one right so you have all the item with the count but on the on the another batch what you will see that you have the same item but the count have increased right so in the second batch like four more smartphones have come right so every time you'll get the full state of the aggregation so uh, it you might need that in some business use case but what it does is it needs to store the data right it needs to store the previous batch state somewhere this is where a state store is getting used so i'll be explaining about this in more details in our upcoming video but just understand this even to do a complete aggregation all this data needs to be stored all this aggregated data needs to be stored in a memory so uh, you might need that but it consumes a lot of memory and your performance can also hamper with this particular complete mode so let me stop this and let's move on to different output mode that is update mode so what it does it it outputs only updated rows in the result table since the last trigger so rows that haven't changed in the last trigger are not emitted right so only the updated output will be shown in the batch information suppose you have uh, this is the first batch you got like smartphone as 20 in the second batch there are there are no increase in the uh, smartphone count right so you won't be seeing this in the result set because there is no change in this particular uh, particular count right so let me just show you so that it makes more sense so if i'm seeing that currently i'm getting all the batch zero batch one currently there are updates going on on those smartphones or on those items that's why we are getting all the state right now let me do some changes on the producer to just mimic this update uh, state so i have this particular generate transition what i'm going going to do is i'm going to remove this particular three items so what it will do is uh okay so what it will do is like it will only uh send records for laptop or smartphone right so i'm not sending uh, records for other items so it will decrease those count and it will just mimic that scenario right let me go back to the spark program and let me wait for that stay batch to come so if you see on this batch 10 only i'm getting records or batch 30 i'm getting records of smartphone and laptop because only the updates is happening on top of this two item that's why you're not getting any other records so this is a very important use case that you should remember that remember only the updated state only comes in the batch information so that you can take action on top of it right so there is only a one last output mode that is append mode so this is quite important that how you should understand is this only output only the new rows added to the result table since the last trigger right so use it when results are finalized this is very important meaning the data for a specific group window is complete right so a, a key point here is append mode emits a row only once when it is finalized right what it does is it means that it only um, app, uh, show the row which are new right 
how it does is suppose you don't have any aggregates right so this is the parse stream this will be able to run as it is right because if you don't have any aggregates it doesn't need to wait for uh, like suppose any count is increasing for any particular item right it doesn't need to wait for any other event to come so it will go okay for every three seconds it will read the data and it will push it to the target right so that exactly what is happening but if you have any aggregate suppose i have this aggregate if i try to run this as it is I'll get error like this that append output mode not supported when there are streaming aggregation on streaming data frame without watermarks, right? So what it means is that uh, Spark doesn't know that how long it needs to wait for the events to come, right? When it can finalize, okay, this is my aggregation starting window and ending window so that I can do the transformation and I can push the data to my target right that's why the watermark comes into picture so we'll be talking about like streaming aggregation and watermarks in very much detail in coming in our upcoming video but just to show like how to fix this error because this is a very important question in terms of interviews and also like when you are implementing this in pro project right so first thing first what we are going to do is like we are going to convert the timestamp that we have from unix timestamp as a timestamp right then we are creating a watermark that okay my data can come like 10 seconds later from your current batch right so spark will wait for 10 more seconds for the batch to come so that it can finalize okay this is my window right and i have a item count so this is just a select query and i'm doing a group by with the window like i'm creating okay 10 seconds in my window and i am ready to wait 10 more seconds so uh, don't worry we'll be discussing uh, a lot about this uh, aggregated query with watermarks then i'm just writing it uh, here right so let me run this so this is how the output will come right so you have a start timestamp what it does it it creates a window suppose it creates a window between 1214 to 1215 because i have given like if you see that i have given 10 seconds window so it will create a window and from that window whatever the item count it will show you this is a good summary so you can read about like when to uh, what's the output uh, then which output mode to choose when to use it supported queries example use case so just read about this summary so that it will more, make more sense this i'll end this video and if you're liking my playlist or you like this particular video just give it a like and just let me know in the comment section if you have any feedback on this right so with this bye bye see you in the next video